Well, hello, welcome back to A Course in Miracles, where we continue through the workbook for students. All right. And today we're on lesson 281. We've, we've come a long way with a long way yet to go. And when we reach what some of us might call the end, lesson 365, we realize it's just begun. Ending? There is no end. I mean, in general, period. <laughs> Which doesn't mean that you have to repeat the workbook, even though I'm going through it for what I think is my third time. And many of you watching this may have gone through it even more than that. In fact, I know some of you have been studying this course for 30 years. Yeah, pretty amazing, isn't it? All right, so lesson 281 today is I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. <laughs> this is a big, important idea, isn't it? I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. In other words, all the hurt that I appear to suffer, all of the pain, all of the heartache, all the crap, it's all on me. It's my thoughts that have caused it. Oh, taken responsibility. Yes, ownership for your entire experience. This course is not for the faint of heart. Luckily, nobody's heart is faint, in truth. We just like to pretend that it is and go off and watch something else on YouTube. They like to run around, pretend that we're a body opposed to other bodies and have some blissful experiences here, maybe get drunk here one night and have some nice margaritas, uh, maybe have hot sex one night. And then the next day we're caught up in a maze of, of, of bullshit, of our own making. I know, I'm just calling it like I see it here, which is exactly what Jesus and the Holy Spirit do. Lovingly. Of course, right? Same with me, but it requires our honesty. It does, doesn't it? It requires our taking an honest look at ourselves and the way that we continue to mess ourselves up. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. We think that outside influences hurt us, and it certainly appears that way. Right? Outside influences appear to have quite a bit of control and say over our own lives. But what do they not have control of? Your present moment thought. They don't have control over that. We love to play the victim in the world, don't we? I mean, we've all done it. I've done it. You've done it. Everyone breathing has done it. We've all given our power away countless times. The power that we keep, that we actually, in truth, can never lose is this present moment power of decision, call it free will. Can't lose that. So if we can be hurt by our own thoughts, we can also put to use our own thoughts for healing. Not only is it possible, it's also your destiny, which I hope is exciting. Ah, it's exciting to me. So the prayer that accompanies Lesson 281 just starts right off saying, Father, your son is perfect, just as you are. Remember, you're still as God created you. So am I. So is your worst apparent enemy. Mm, still, as God created him or her. Yeah. When we think that we're harmed, it's because we've forgotten who we are. We've forgotten our identity. 
We've forgotten our oneness with God being our true identity. And we've forgotten that. That explains all of the psychodrama that we put ourselves through in this world. It's because we've forgotten who we are. We've chosen to listen to the wrong teacher. That's one way of looking at it. We've chosen to listen to the ego instead of the Holy Spirit. We've chosen to listen to self with a lowercase s instead of self with a higher case, capital S. We've forgotten. And in remembering, it's not remembering in the sense that we commonly think of it here in the world, because we think of the word remember, and we remember past events, don't we? We remember what happened when we were six, when we went with our mom and dad to the park for a picnic. We remember full well a fight we may have had with our ex even if it was over a decade ago. I don't know, for example, that we remember things that seem to be in the linear past. But as we know, there's no linear past. And what we discover as we go through the spiritual path, as we go through this course, is that we're really looking at the past. We're mentally reviewing the past. That's what this world is. And when we're remembering in a spiritual sense, in the sense that this course talks about, we're remembering the present. Memory can be of the present. It's a choice that we make. We can choose to remember the past or choose to remember the present, who we are, the eternal present. We can put our thoughts, our free will, to work in remembering the present. The Course describes this in several ways. One way is the thoughts that we think with God as contrasted with the thoughts that we think without God, with our little self, with the ego, with our sense of separation. Of the two, only one is real. By now you know which one is real. It's a question of are you accepting that that one is real? The thoughts you think with God, only the thoughts we think with God are real. And God, as we've talked about here in this series of videos, has no ego to be offended. And we talk about this often in the context of the idea of sin, this notion of sin, which does not exist. God has no ego to be offended. So how can we transgress God? We only appear to transgress each other, but in truth, we're all one. So there's no one to transgress anyone. There's nobody to transgress anybody else. So when we appear to be hurt, it's ourselves. We did this to ourselves. There's nobody out there, so to speak. I mean, put it in quotes, out there, yeah? There's no out there. There's no in here either. Who we are is beyond all concepts, and it's unchanged. It's the thought of God, oneness with God. It's who we are. And when we appear to be hurt, it's because we've chosen, and this may sound harsh, but we've chosen to forget. When, well, that's, it doesn't matter. The logical mind can't answer that question. Why? Because it never actually happened.
We've never left our source, remember? Ideas leave not their source, ever. And isn't it wonderful? Isn't it a happy thing that ideas can't leave their source? We can't separate from God. We can't go off and be these separate, independently existing, inherently self-existing things that we call bodies, a conglomeration of this similar looking species called human beings, right? The bodies that appear genetically related to other bodies and look like other bodies and smell like other bodies and, you know, on and on. Ideas leave not their source. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. God is not punitive. God has no ego to be offended. There is no thunderbolt throwing from Olympus going on. If you're experiencing pain in your life, you can make a choice in the present moment that you don't want to feel this way. You could absolutely start with that reach for a better feeling. Yes. Forgive to the degree that you're able right now. This is the way that we do it. It's up to us to allow and accept this. So as with every idea that we talk about here, I invite you to take this to heart and really contemplate it, practice it, think about it, recite this idea, make it one with you. This is taking ownership over your own experience, which is something that each and every one of us must do on the spiritual path. And well, quite honestly, aren't you sick of suffering? The sooner we do this, the better. And it doesn't have to be today but it could be. And wouldn't that be fun if today were the day that you really, really took these beautiful, beautiful ideas to heart and applied them in your life. So I invite you to do just that. And I'll see you back here on the next video.